Yo, what's good? This is your boy Derek Branch here, Sports View 360, covering the Warren Saints. And in today's video, I just want to talk about the uh, Sunday's matchup between the Warren Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Go over a few uh, keys to victory for the Saints as they look to recover from last week's disappointing loss for the Philadelphia Eagles by a score of 15 to 12. It's a uh, it's 12 o'clock kickoff, Central Time, 1 o'clock Eastern. According to reports, the game is still on despite what is going on out there in the region. Hurricane Helen. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Hurricane Helene, whatever. Uh, came through last night, I believe, in like a category four storm. Came through uh, Florida, and from what I've heard, Atlanta is supposed to get some of the rain that's coming with that storm, heavy rain is coming down in the area, but the league is still going still to happen. So, we get down the keys to victory for the Saints. On the offensive side, better production from the offensive line without Eric McCoy. I know you don't have him for this game, for, not going to have him for a couple of games, but we shouldn't see what we saw um, last week where it looked like the team was in crisis mode and didn't know how to respond with a second out, with a, with a different game plan. So protect Derek Carr, and that way you can establish a play-action pass. Number two, run the ball effectively. Um, Atlanta, Atlanta's rush defense, is giving up over 150 yards a game right now, which ranks them 27 in the league. They're not Philadelphia. They don't have they don't have the interior like Philadelphia with Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis, but they're not far from it. Uh, two former Saints are on that team: uh, Jordan David Onyemata uh, and Kay Nellis. So they're going to be looking for to get some revenge, some payback. Um, Run the ball effectively. Take Derek Carr. I think the Saints should be fine. Play calling needs to be better as well. With Clint Kubiak. What do you have in your bag of tricks if something goes haywire again? Because last week, I thought I was looking at Pete Carmichael's offense. You know what I mean? Um, defense, it balls down, it balls down to two, two days, man. Two things you gotta do. I think they can win this game. Stop Atlanta's running game, led by B. John Robinson, Tyler Algieri, and take away Kirk Cousins. Disrupt Kirk Cousins. He's not a mobile QB. He can't get out of the pocket like Jalen Hurst did. He can't handle it. Take, take away the running game, and you can take away the play action pass. Uh, similar to the, uh, Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins strived off, strives off the play action pass. And he's a very dangerous quarterback when he can be supported by a really good running game. And Atlanta has not one, but two good running backs. One is an elite running back. Tyler Algieri don't have all the, the, the attributes of a B. John Robinson, but he's a really good running back. He had a really good game against the Saints two seasons ago. I think, I think that was in Dennis Allen's first year. He had a really good game. But you can take away that running game. You take away you can take away Kirk Cousins because that way, if you can get a lead up on them, disrupt Kirk Cousins, force a couple of turnovers, the Saints can get a huge advantage in this game. And you can go back to doing what you was doing two weeks ago where you were dropping over 40 points a game. Now I'm saying now, I say that because I put out a disclaimer on that because with McCoy being out, I don't think you're going to see that level of explosiveness, explosiveness from the Saints in this game or going forward. But the key, if they can put up 20 to 24 points a game during the stretch, Whatever, or whatever McCoy being out, I think they're going to be fine. Because defense shows you that 
has shown us that they can hold it down. You can get up by a couple of scores, take away the team's uh, running game, Saints will be fine. The defense is good enough to stifle these teams, these offenses. You know what I'm saying? So, offense, run the ball effectively, better protection for Derrick Carr, better play calling from Clint Kubiak. Defense, disrupt Kirk Cousins, take away their running game. Master those five things, the Saints will be winning this Sunday against Atlanta. The Atlanta Falcons. They don't have Jalen Hurt, uh, Kirk Cousins. He's not a mobile quarterback. Atlanta don't have J Jalen uh, Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis to stuff up the middle like that. Saints should be in good shape. Uh, Al I think Alvin Kamara is going to play in this game. Demario Davis may not, but I'm comfortable with Willie Gay um, in the fold now. Willie Gay, Pete Warner. Um, Cesar Ruiz, Ruiz might be out. Um, they brought up Shane Lemieux. Lucas Patrick should be playing in this game. I think he's going to be the center. Uh, Landon Young probably on the offensive line as well. I think we'll see a better, a better offense. I don't think we're going to be dropping 40 points a game, but I think we're going to see a better offense um, compared to last week. Now, now that you got these guys together, they're developing a rapport with one another, practicing, going over uh, techniques, going over being together as a, as one unit. I think they'll be better prepared for what uh, Atlanta might bring to the table this Sunday. So, looking forward to it. I have the uh, preview, the game, uh, the game preview story coming out soon on the uh, Sports View 360 website. So, be on the lookout for that. All right, so that's all for right now, man. Give me a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. What are your keys to victory in um, Sunday's game against the Atlanta Falcons? Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out. Who that?